Back here in West Michigan, crews and loved ones spending the day searching for two missing teens out of Ottawa County. 16 year old Eliza Trainer still missing tonight after she was swept off a pier in Holland on New Year's Day and into Lake Michigan. An 18 year old Hunter Klomster was last seen walking away from a New Year's Eve party hours earlier near Coopersville. We have crews at both of those search sites tonight. We'll start with Angeline McCall in Coopersville. Angeline. Yeah, Doug, Annie, it was an incredible amount of people who came out to this staging area here in Coopersville. More than 100 people came out to look for 18 year old Hunter Klomstra. Like you said, Doug, he was last seen with friends at a New Year's Eve party, and then he ended up potentially walking, possibly trying to walk to a friend's house or someplace else nearby, and he hasn't been seen or heard from since about 2 a.m. on Wednesday. Searching through the woods, marshes and snow is always faster on an ATV. Because I know this area better than anybody that I could probably be of help to look. So Dave Hastings hunts this land and spent most of his day looking for any trace of Hunter Klomstra near Deer Creek. I was worried that he might try to cross that creek and uh, the creek is very deep and very fast right now. Even though Dave has only met Hunter once, he had to help. I put myself in the shoes of those who love them and I thought I got to go look. A helicopter, canines, drones and robots have all been used to look for the 18 year old. Trying to do some tracking based upon, you know, devices, cell phones, etc. to see you know, where he may have gone. And that's all in progress right now. Captain Mark Bennett also says the sheriff's office and other agencies have been leading volunteer groups who met up at Gull Lake Marine in Coopersville. I know the family is very appreciative. The law enforcement, other search and rescue uh, entities, very appreciative of the people coming forward. So many showed up that they were able to cover well over 36 square miles, proving just how much Hunter is loved and how far friends and family will go to bring him home. Cooper's is a, a small community and we all kind of pull together. All of the volunteers who were out searching, that was all the volunteer base searching that is. That was called off at about uh, dark when it got dark out tonight, but the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office did tell me that they were planning to go out with a canine possibly after dark to continue looking for Hunter. They asked that if you know anything about where he might be, that you call the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office. If they do not find him tonight, they do plan to continue looking tomorrow. Live in Coopersville, Angela McCall, Fox 17 News.